Hello, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop in Sydney, and I'm going to do a five card reading using the G Deluxe Gypsy cards. And this reading is about a female client about her love life. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm shuffling the cards. By the way, these cards you can look me up on Facebook, Paris de Bono. D-E-B-O-N-O -O, and you can find my other cards as well on there. So what I'm doing is I'm shuffling, thinking of the female client and about her love life. When I feel ready, I'll stop shuffling. Oops. The cup fell out, that's a good sign. Cup means love and open. So <clears throat> I'm ready now. So the first card is the female client. Second card is the base, or the thing that holds them together or connects her to love. Third one would be a love interest. Fourth is future. Fifth is outcome. So if we turn over the first card, we have here Pegasus. Now Pegasus was the horse with wings, and he, he was a horse that helped the heroes get to wherever they needed to go, but he was also very free. He was commissioned to do jobs, but then he was also f set free after he'd finished. So this is already showing that this woman is very free. Pegasus also is a sign of friendship. So it could be that she has many friends or she's networking with lots of people. It's not really a love card. I see that more as a card of freedom. Okay, there is love out there for her, which is really great. We've got the heart card. Heart represents love, attraction and connection. The middle card is a ring. Wow. So the ring represents a desire to, to pair up with somebody or to connect with relationship. However, she may be feeling very um, mixed feelings because Pegasus is actually the opposite of settling down. So this is a bit of a contradiction, but it seems to be more on her side. Now, when we look at the ring, it represents a desire to settle down or connect. Okay. So the, the next card is the Violets. The Violets is a very slow growing card. It's very patient. If you think of Violets, they take time to grow and they need nurturing and, and care. So it's showing here that she needs to be patient. And the last card is the butterfly. The butterfly represents um, fun, f fun, freedom, travel, movement. Again, we've got here a contradiction. We've got three stable cards and then two free cards. So I would say that this woman is um, wanting to be in a very committed, loving relationship here, but there's also a, a conflict that she may still be wanting to have freedom. She might even have a fear of commitment. So this is where layering happens. So what we do is we layer the card and see what else do we need to know about Pegasus. And what we have here is the crown. The crown represents knowledge, work, career. Now it can also mean that this woman's being very analytical or coming to love too much through her head, her mind. Let's see, what else will happen? The owl. Yeah, the owls are really emphasizing this. Owls are about study, learning, knowledge. Owls are considered wise birds. Okay, so it's, it could be two, could be read two ways. That she's being too analytical, but it could also mean she may get some good advice from someone wise. The owls can also mean a wise mentor. What else? Yeah, and then there's a bit of a block. Medusa represents blockage. So as we can see with the layering, it shows that this woman's kind of doing a bit of self blockage. The owl is interesting because the owl can mean she may notice her own sabotage. It does indicate, however, once she connects with her own blockages, it shows that there is love relationship there. Um, now let's see, will Medusa be cleared up? It's up to fate. So it's sort of saying that she has to understand her own patterns, perhaps self-sabotage. Okay, so it's not really going any further, this reading. It's sort of saying that she has to take her own fate in her own hands. But once she does, there is love there. So it looks really pleasant. The ring means long-lasting. The violets means the right elements will be present. It also means something growing. And the heart represents love. So I would say that she has to perhaps look at her own actions in this particular reading and perhaps notice if she's blocking herself or repeating old patterns from the past or self-sabotaging. Okay, this is the Gypsy Deluxe card reading by Paris de Bono at the Fortune Teller Shop.